Good afternoon, guys. It's about like 2.21. Um, I didn't really vlog at all yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Because I literally just slept up until like now and then went to work. And then after that, I went grocery shopping with uh, a couple of friends. And that was super nice little bonding experience. I really, you know, I'm starting to think that I am an extrovert because like I was craving interaction like genuine interaction with people and it was kind of frustrating me that I didn't get that interaction but then like I went to my theater job and whenever I go to my theater job I'm always working well most of the time I'm always working with um, great people and I know these people I've known these people for about almost two years now it kind of feels like my own family because I know them because I feel comfortable around a lot of them and I can talk with them openly Versus when I go to like Soul Cycle and I don't know them as well and it kind of makes me anxious, nervous, and puts me kind of like on edge, um, depending on who I'm working with. But I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that night when I had to work at the theater and then when I had went and grocery shopping with um, with those friends. It was just really nice and freely and open. I, kind of feel like I let my personality out a little bit more than I usually do when I'm around certain people. Um, but anyways, I just ate breakfast. It was just like some chopped up potatoes and spinach cheese on toast. And I'm drinking some coffee, black coffee with like a little bit of sugar in it and getting ready to get ready for work because I am clopening. I'm clopening tonight. I close tonight at the theater and I open tomorrow at Soul Cycle. Um, and then I open again, and then we have the countdown starts. Emily is coming in about, today is the 20th, so nine days. Nine days until Emily gets here. I've already bought in our uh, Horror Nights tickets. Um, I have some other things in mind about what we want to do, and of course we're going to put out a vlog, vlogs with her in it, maybe even get a photo shoot done if I can find somebody to do the pictures, we'll see. But, um... Still haven't heard back from uh, from the the job that I applied for. Um, hopefully, I'll hear back this week. And um, my rash is back. Like I get like I feel like I get like a, a nervous rash, or a um, a nervous rash, or an anxious rash, or something. But whenever like I'm like my body is under extreme stress, I get a rash. And at first I didn't think that was what it was, but then like I was like chill for a little while and it went completely away. Like I don't know what I was doing. Um, I of course have extremely dark skin, so I put like I put ointments and lotions and creams on my skin all the time to keep it hydrated. But um I have been doing that and it's it's like suppressing it, but it's still like it's itching. And it could be because I was like extremely, extremely stressed out last week in the beginning of this week for jobs, money, hours, because I was literally getting like, SoulCycle gave me like two, like two days. And then I sprained my ankle and I had to call off for one of those days. And um, no, it gave me one day. And then I had to call off for one of those days. And then I had that breakdown for the other day. So then I have two days this week, Monday and Tuesday. And then I'm off on Wednesday. I work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, I believe. And then Emily should be here Tuesday. So I have a busy, somewhat busy schedule. I'm going to try and film some more content for you guys. Like, I really want to. Um, like, I want to I wanna film, I want to do a thorough video about period emotions that's separate from Vlogtober. Um, and... Uh, I want to kind of like make a whole anxiety video on my own explaining like how I feel and like all this stuff um, and you guys I'm like super excited about this job I really really want it I'm sorry also allergies are like kicking my ass right now and nobody is home well they're home but they're not like, in the common area so yeah but how are you guys doing? Are you guys enjoying my attempt at Vlogtober? If you like my intro, let me know. Um, I would love a little more, like, communication or, like, interaction.
interaction with, I think there's like 50, 56 of you guys right now. Um, create like a little community because sometimes like LA can be lonely. If you're not in LA and you're back home, that's fine too. But yeah, so I will film getting ready. I don't know. I did a really cute eye look yesterday just because I was like, I was feeling like calm, like really calm, so, um, not again, but I am gonna get, I go in at 6.30 on kitchen prep, which I love being kitchen prep, even though it's like, it's one of the more stressful jobs, depending on like how busy it is, I don't think it's gonna be busy, um, also I am dying to see Maleficent too. um, I sneak peeked it in the theater, um, when I like do theater checks or whatever, and I, like, first of all, like, I loved the first one. I saw it, like, four times. Um, I don't doubt that I'm going to love the second one. I just have to find, like, oh, my God. Wow. Um, I just have to find the second one. So, or I just have to find time to see the second one. There you go. Um, but, yeah. I think that's it. That's all, like, the updates. Like, I went grocery shopping. I hate grocery shopping. Uh, mostly because I have like no fucking space with my food and like that's like a hassle um and I like it's hard to cook because we don't have all the stuff that I need to cook food or the food that I want like I miss my mom's I miss my mom's cooking so much sometimes um like dressing or macaroni and cheese mashed potatoes and it's even if I like cook um I have know where to store the food so I either have to make enough for myself like for that one sitting or don't cook at all because like if I cook then I'll like make mashed potatoes chicken and then like have that for like two or two meals two or three meals depending on how much and then I have nowhere to store that food so um I just would rather just make like breakfast make a smoothie uh, and then, like, eat noodles, which is so bad for you, and it kills me that I'm doing that, because, um, I can, oh my god, this is a seven-minute clip, oh my god, (laughs) um, I can feel that, like, my body responding to, like, bad stuff, and, um, I feel like my stomach went through that really bad period when I was just eating nothing but, like, complete shit, uh, so, I don't want that to happen again, because I can't afford to do another soup reset. Speaking of, if you guys wanted to, she's doing another reset. I think it's like 250 something dollars this time around. Um, Same amount of soups or whatever, but yeah. Um, Check it out. Soup Fit on Instagram. All right, um, I'm going to stop blabbering and just start getting ready. dressed I took a shower washed my face I'm not putting on makeup because when I clope in the last thing I want to do is come home at 12 o'clock at night wash my face take off all the makeup I just want to rinse brush sleep wake up go um but I did like I signed up for some standing room only stuff if I get picked then I kind of want to um like I'll do my makeup in the morning maybe but before I forget I'm listening to the Amanda Seals podcast, Small Doses, and she just described my social anxiety to a T. So my family has always been like, oh my God, like I don't talk to anybody. I stand to myself. Like my mom's like, you, you be like stuck up. And I'm like, I'm not stuck up. Like I thrive if somebody invites me into the conversation. Like I will be there, but I, I'm not the best person to be like what's up like hi I'm Joanna like if you invite me into the conversation be like okay Joanna what do you think about this I will feel more comfortable and I will like thrive 
even like I realized, oh my god, my arm's tired. I'm gonna do the thing I did yesterday and put it here and scoop back. All right, so if you, if like, let's say like at, at work, um, like a lot of people, like I feel comfortable integrating myself into the conversation because I know everybody. If if I don't know anybody, like at Soul Cycle, I didn't know anybody, and I'm not the most comfortable person in like inserting myself into other people's conversation or business. So nobody ever did that to me. Like they would ask like quest like some questions of me, and I would like answer them, but that, they weren't like broad questions or like things that I was passionate about so I didn't like it didn't feel like I was being like actually integrated into the conversation it was just like oh do you want to like like where are you from Michigan end of conversation oh like do you want to where like oh you have another job where do you work uh theater what theater I would say the name of the theater oh cool like ask me questions about that but like far as like actual like hard hitting questions getting to me or actually putting me into the conversation I don't always feel comfortable doing that so then it kind of makes me one seem standoffish it makes me two seem like I'm better than people and I don't want to talk which I do but I just like I what if they don't want me in that conversation or what if they're like why is she like all in our business or like a lot of the times like when I'm at Seoul people will they'll talk about personal issues and then I'm like there and I'm like they're talking about it around me do I say something about it do I ask clarifying questions or and or sometimes they'll just ignore me and I figured out that they're not really ignoring me I just talk really quietly when I feel really like when I feel nervous and um, I talk really quietly and they don't always hear me so that could also be it as well I don't know but anyways yeah so I was just listening to Amanda Seals and she was saying that like she had went to her boyfriend's um her boyfriend's sister's wedding slash get together or something like that and like she at the she was like she was just doing tasks so it's like if somebody's like oh well can you like put out the potato salad or can you take out the trash or can you like task it's like you're like that's she said that's how she was managing and that's a lot of times how I do it like if I go to somebody's house and I don't know them a lot of times I will sit in one spot in this spot, this is my spot. I feel comfortable in this spot. I have deemed this spot my spot. And I will sit there. Unless I feel comfortable moving around the house. Even like at my grandma's house. Like I feel comfortable at my grandma's house. But when people are, a lot of people are there that I don't know. I will like stay away. Because like I don't know you. I don't know how you're going to respond to me. I'd rather just, you know, like be in my own little bubble where I feel comfortable. And um, she said at the end of the night she got attacked. She felt like she had gotten attacked by her her boyfriend and his sister talking about, oh you like you didn't you didn't socialize with anybody. You stuck up. You feel like you're better than us. When that's not even the case. The case was just that we have social anxiety, and unless you make an effort to introduce us to people that you may you may you made me come to this party that I don't know anybody. And I don't know how to integrate myself into other conversations. Like my mom isn't my mom isn't like that. My mom will just like talk to anybody and like make conversations with anybody. Growing up, she always did that and I always like just kinda stayed quiet or like was with the kids and like we're kids. So like we can relate, but like what do I have in common with like a forty five year old woman at thirteen? Nothing. She's gonna ask me how school school's oh school, school, I'm learning. Um how that's it they usually just ask you how school and then if you're in college they still ask you like how's college you almost done when you when do you graduate are you excited where are you majoring in like stuff like that they don't like dive deeper anyways I just was like knock on the head so if you are a friend of mine and you are watching this video this is what I deal with and if you think that I have ever been like stuck up or anything like that no, I'm not. I just have that anxiety and I don't like to insert myself into other people's business unless I'm invited or into other people's conversation unless I'm invited because that is my pet peeve, especially if I don't know you or like you are like ear hustling and you got the wrong information and you insert yourself into my conversation. like. That used to get on my nerves when I was in high school.
So I don't do that because what if that is a pet peeve of somebody else's, you know? <sighs> if you feel the same way, comment down below. Tell me. Because apparently I'm not alone and I didn't even know that's what it was called. But that makes me feel so much better. Oh, yeah, got a Yeah, they got like I should Yeah, I saw it. It's so hard to make a decision. You're so Who hard. Is, what's up? This is the vlog. Oh, bro? You don't watch it anyway, so. It's like what? It's almost one. It's on a Sunday. Actually, it's actually Monday. Yeah. I have to get up early in the morning, but I was craving ramen, so. Quality content. I'll pitch y'all back when I get my food. I, I want to see that. I called it once again. I, I, I called it. So do you think? So you you definitely think they go like Netflix? Yeah, Dude, Netflix is gonna plummet. They just gave a hundred and like fifty million to what's the guy from Game of Thrones? Oh, like, the writers from Game of Thrones? They just they just oh okay, whatever they do. You want just a show it on uh, Netflix? I think so. Yeah, or they're doing a movie. Like I need to write me a quick little like ten minute something.